Hey guys, welcome back to the Button Religion 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a part 2 of the pushing objects one, which is, this is something else I was asked to do. So this is one where you can push an object over. So last time I showed you how to push an object around with animation, so you can do this, like so. Then someone asked how to be able to push an object over, for example like pushing a tree or a ladder over a ditch to climb over or something. So I'm just going to be showing you how to push over a tall object, so something standing up, and then you can push it over. So let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate the cube we used last time in the last episode, so I'd recommend watching that if you haven't already, as that's very good and useful to know as well. So I'm just going to duplicate that here as well, I'm just going to call this movable cube bp2, it works well. So we just open it up straight away, we're just going to make some very minor changes. So what we're going to do first is actually on the cube itself, so select that, we're just going to set simulate physics to true. So we want to simulate physics, tick that, and then we'll actually just tick mass and kilograms as well to keep it at 100 so we can push it over easily. And then I'm also just going to resize this to be the size and shape I want it to be to push over. So I think something like this will be good. Just kind of like a tall thing like that, like a tree or anything along those lines that you want. And then because we've enabled physics down here, we want to not set it here. So what we can do is just simply delete all four of these set simulate physics there and then just plug these back in. And that's it for that part. We don't need to do anything else with the coding. We just need to unplug the set simulate physics as we want physics to be enabled all the time. So then final thing is on the physics constraint here, select that. What we're gonna do is just simply make it so we can move the linear on all of them, so we set linear limits to 3 on x, y, and z. Then the angular limits, with these important ones, we want to be free on all of them as well, instead of locked. So the angular limits is the actual one, meaning it can roll, it can tip, it can fall over, stuff like that. So make sure that they're all free, like so. And if you don't want to be able to move it on the ground, so linear, so x, y, z, you can just put those on locked as well, but I'm going to leave it on free. So now if we hit compile, minimize this, and then drag it in, we should be able to test this out and see if it works. And the reason why I kept these here is so the animations still work. So if we hit play, we should see that we should be able to move this about like that. The animation played, and we can push it over as simply as that. And we can still move these as well. It didn't mess about with that. This means that we can push this one around. So I'll show you that again. We can get in, push this around, and if we hit it, it should fall over as simple as that. And also you can add sound effects as well for when it's falling, but for this one I'm showing you how to push it over. So I think that'll be it for this video, we've done everything we wanted to do. We've just modified what we did in the last episode, so that we can just simply push things over instead of just pushing them around. So for example, if there is a ditch somewhere that you want to be able to cross, you can just, you can just push this over to be able to cross it. So I just make this a bit bigger. And let's maybe use that example like that. So if I maybe just move this back a bit, duplicate it, get one over here. Let's put it like this. Just to test that out. So now if we hit play and move my character first, that'd be a good idea. So if we test this again, we should be able to just simply push this over. So it's falling quite slowly. Don't want to push it off though. It might fall off. Right, there we go, so we can push it over and then we can cross this gap. I mean, you could probably just jump over, but it's as simple as that. Now, the reason why we're getting that animation is because of the box collision that's on it. So obviously, you might want to get rid of that, but just to show you that it does simply work. So like I say, I think that'll be it for this video. Don't know everything I wanted to do. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, Make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.